Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Handy here with a tiny video just letting you know what games you can expect from the ever sensational Xbox Game Pass in November 2020. Overall we've got 12 awesome looking games to sink our teeth or gums, if you're over 85, uh, into, so let's get a cracking. So the first game that we're going to come up with then is one that's only just be recently been released for the Xbox One. It's been on Steam for a, a little while longer than that, but this is Kato. So this excellent little puzzle game sees us being uh, basically split apart from our little dear old granny old bird. And we have to manipulate the world around us to create paths and to get us back home. It's a very nice looking puzzle game. It's a nice 3 out of 10 for difficulty and takes literally three, four, five hours to complete. And this one is coming to the console and PC. So next up then, we have, we're have we gonna move on to three absolute classics. And the first one is the ever sensational, I said that twice now, haven't I? Hmm. Anyway, Grim Fandango Remastered. Now this really does give us a lot of childhood memories, does it not? If you're as old as me, of course, then you will remember. Um, so yeah, first up is Grim Fandango Remastered, and by about 90-95% to 95 of people is regarded to be one of the most critically acclaimed and most immersive adventure games of all time. Amazing orchestral music and an incredible story to boot. This is a great yet easy game with around 5-6 to six hours to complete, and you can't beat that 3 out of 10 difficulty rating either. Uh, this one is also coming to yes. console and PC. So on to number two out of three of a classic Game Pass legendary game, and this time it was 1995's Full Throttled Remastered. Another excellent story, an all new hand drawn artwork with fresh audio, so the upgrade makes this game look and feel even better than before. And even even better is the one to two hour completion rate and the achievements are way easy enough to obtain. And for three out of three of the ultimate classic adventure slash point and click games hey. is a comedically genius name, Day uh, Game even. I'll try that again. Day of the Tentacle Remastered. In this mind-bending puzzle game, we need to save the world from a giant blue testicle. Uh, uh, I mean tentacle, of course. <laughs> As with the previous two classics, this has been remade with the utmost care and attention to give you another top experience. Also with the previous two, nice, easy achievements make this a triple sexy fest. Two to three hours to complete is all that is needed. And on to the next one then. So are you ready for quite honestly the scariest game basically of all time? And it might not look like much, but it genuinely is. The absolute creepiness and intensity behind looking at each camera, not knowing when those little automotive fackers will strike, shitting you up in the process. It's all in good fun, and all four original Five Nights at Freddy's game are now on Game Pass. Now this game can be quite tricky legitimately, until you get a uh, you know, good technique and process and you know what you're doing down. But for the first game there is a glitch, which involves pausing the game at a certain time, acting as if the doors shut, which helps a huge amount. Uh, you can check out Sangrias from the Hidden Levels or Bills from Achievement Land. They have both done videos for that, so check those out. And for the second game, but with the second game, the only way you can glitch it is on the PC uh, Game Pass, sorry. But there is another glitch for another easy completion as well. Again, check Bills out again on Achievement Land, or Mac has also done, uh, Maca91 has also done another video. Either way, enjoy the poop stains you'll undoubtedly get while playing this in your underwear. Now this can be a 2 out of 10 difficulty um, rating with the glitches and quite possibly about a 6 or a 10 without and generally the hours can vary on how good and skilled you are. But this has also come to Android, PC and console as well. So now we go to a really good game, but quite a bloody difficult one of that as well. Um, unruly Heroes. Now the scenery is excellent, the story is awesome, but it is not one of those you can just pick up and play. The combat system takes time and is quite hard to master, but there are tons of surprises across a varying, evolving platforming world, and the achievements do make it a bit tougher as well. More noticeably, the Get an Emerald rating in all levels. When you see that only 3 people out of over 4,000 on True Achievements have completed it, you know you're in for a challenge, so... 
you best get yourself mentally ready for taking this one on because this can't be a whew, 7 out of 10 difficulty an easy 50 plus hours completion rate but again it also it is coming to android console and pc now on to the next one then and sc scourge bringer scourge bringer scourge bringer scourge bringer <laughs> is basically a fast-paced roguelike platformer now if you enjoy games like dead cells and celeste then this is the game for you it is already out for console so it's basically just being added as an extra to android slightly challenging completion but with practice and patience this quite enjoyable game can be done but it is a 6 out of 10 difficulty rate but it can be done in 10 to 12 hours and on to the next one then and this is basically definitely the hardest on the on the list to complete but this seriously fun and addicting game is already, as I said, on Game Pass. But again, is coming to Android as an added extra. Now, this is a completion that can be done, but boy, oh boy, you will need to sink hours and hours, ignoring many daily real-life things, including family and work, to get this one done. So you are looking at around <laughs> uh, an 8 out of 10 difficulty rating and 200 plus hours completion rate. Enjoy! So, on to the next one then, Deep Rock Galactic, and this game is as cool as cum, I think. Uh, uh, still cool, but I don't know whether cum's cool. Anyway, we are awesome sp <laughs> space dwarves smashing up endless alien monster hordes, completely 100% destructionable environments. Destructionable is a word I've just made up, so I'll take my royalty check whenever I want, thank you. And a whole bunch of incredible looking caves to sift through. As awesome as this game is to play, getting all achievements will take a little bit of dedication. But it's one of those that is such a joy playing in co-op as you mine for gold, kicking ass and genuinely having a blast. You won't mind it as much, but it can be a 7 out of 10 difficulty rate. And again, you're looking at about 100 plus hours for it. But it is coming to Android, console and PC. And on to the next one then. We do have Celeste. Now this is a beauty. We have to get Madeline, our main character, to beast her inner demons by climbing to the top of Celeste Mountain. I mean, sounds easy, right? Climb up a mountain? Well, you're right. In the wrong, completely wrong sort of way. Uh, you face obstacles from all angles. Literally enemies just thrown at you constantly. But lucky though, what you can do before you start is to put assist mode on. This will absolutely help you to no end. It is a big tricky completion if you decide to do it assist modeless. Yeah, I just confused myself then. So if you don't decide to use the assist mode, then it'll be a lot tougher. But it is a stunning game and well worth a play. So you're looking at about 4 out of 10 difficulty rate with assists. Honestly, a 9 out of 10 without. Uh, but about 5 to 10 hours. Really depending on skill, could be a little bit more uh, completion rate. But again, Android console and PC, this one is coming soon. And on to the next one then is Knights and Bikes. So, if you want a Goonies type adventure game set in the 80s but without the fat kid in it, rubbing his gut all up in the screen, then this is your game. This beautifully hand painted game is set on a British island as two friends go searching for treasure. But of course there is always more to the story than that. But at easy achievements and any missables can be mopped up through chapter select. So it's a 2 out of 10 difficulty rate but expect a 10 to 15 hour grind. This one is coming to console and PC. And on to the next one then, we have Comanche. Now Comanche is a modern day helicopter big boy shooter set in the near future. It's coming to PC Game Pass only and there are, there are no achievements so you can either bang in with a nice story mode or team up with other players and kick some ass. Either way, sometimes the lack of achievements genuinely makes a game less pressured and more enjoyable. But as I said, it's coming to PC Game Pass only. And on to the next one then. We now have East Shade. And that uh, East Shade is aptly named by East Shade Studios. <laughs> it's a beautiful looking game. Uh, basically, you're a painter who you have to explore the town of East Shade with your easel, seen as you're a painter. You do quests, get involved in people's lives, and it is such an interesting story. And with easy achievements to boot, and around 10, 8 to 10 hours uh, to complete, this will be a lovely little grind and well enjoyable. This one is a 2 out of 10 difficulty rate and it's coming to Android console and PC. 
And last but not least, we have an absolute biggie in Ark Survival Evolved Explorer's Edition. Now, the base game Ark Survival Evolved is already on Game Pass, but the Explorer's Edition comes with the three huge DLC packs for over, wait for it, 900 hours extra of gameplay. Just wow. The game's already fantastic, but if you prefer to just blast through the game and get all the achievements, you can actually get all 1,500 gamer score with admin commands. Now, it'll take around one to two hours, maybe three, to input them all, but with all these cheeky console commands, it's a top game whether you cheat or not. And so that's the Game Pass list so far for November 2020. So. Is there any in there that tickle your pickle, float your boat? What's got you excited to play? Game Pass generally is the gift that keeps on giving. All right, it is. Let me know what you'll be playing below. Also, big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Big love.